Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 50-year-old female who injured her thigh while sprinting. And we see here on this coronal stir sequence of the pelvis, this is the right thigh here, the medial side, lateral side. We see here the ischium coming down, the ischial tuberosity here, and off the bottom of it we see the hamstring tendons. So here's one of the hamstring tendon components over here, this is the biceps. And you can see fluid undermining it here, so this is a an intermediate to high grade partial tear of this whole um, hamstring tendon attachment. And we can see again the fluid there, we see some of the tendon fibers are lifted up, but some of them towards the back are hanging on there. So it's not completely torn, not pulled off, but a, again a high grade or intermediate to high grade partial tear. The muscle looks good. Now we're going to go to an axial image, just uh, an axial sequence there to see this a little bit better. This is an axial stir sequence, and now here we see the ischium. Here on the lateral side, we see that tendon we saw earlier that stripped off a little bit, partially torn, and now we see the other components back here that are partially torn and thickened. As we come on down to the muscular tendon junction, now the muscles look nice and normal. And so this is, a, again, an intermediate to high-grade partial tear, um, again, not totally torn off. And we're going to try to uh, see which one of these tendons, tendons is which. So the more lateral one here is the biceps. So we're going to see the biceps more lateral go more medial. I'll put up a T1 sequence to appreciate this a little bit better. Here we go in the T1 sequence. Now we can see the gray, thick um, uh, tendons here at their attachment, partially torn. And over here, we're going to follow this, biceps. This come down, down, form a no more nice dark tendon. We're going to watch it go medial, down, down, down. Here it is. And now it goes medial. So it starts lateral and goes medial. We're going to follow it back on up. There we go. Now the semimembranosus and semitendinosus are here, sort of combined, and we're going we're gonna to follow these down as well. And the semimembranosus should be out more lateral here eventually. Here we go. There's a the muscle belly, and this is a semitendinosus. Again, that biceps is a little tendon over here, the up uh, along the anterior medial margin. Now there's one other thing in this patient, or two other things. One of them was an injury of the um, quadratus femoris muscle. So the Quadratus, quadratus femoris muscle comes horizontally across here and attaches along the back of the femur and it goes over the top of the hamstring tendon origin. In this patient along the inferior margin we see this abnormal bright signal right here. This is a partial tear or strain of the inferior margin of that quadratus femoris. Now if they had not had this tear, if we saw a bright signal here, we would think of an issue of femoral impingement. But since we have this injury, we know that this is in a partial tear of that muscle rather than chronic impingement. And then the last thing was the patient did have something in their right pelvis here. So if we look over here, we can see this, and it looks like another component here, like two adjacent cysts uh, coming off the right adnexa. So at first glance, you're like, okay, maybe some ovarian cysts. But when we look on the T2 weight images, we see that they are not the quite, I'm sorry, they're not quite the same signal intensity. This one is uh, more bright. And if we go to the urinary bladder down here, we see that they are brighter than the urinary bladder. There's a little nabothian cyst in the cervix, a little pedunculated fibroid from the uterine fundus up here. Now we're going to go to a coronal view to look at this. And we see this again. This is a stir sequence. We see that bright cyst here. And we see the other cyst right uh, posterior to it right here. It's not quite as bright. And also this fluid is brighter than the bladder. Here's the urinary bladder. Here's the uterus. There's a little... Um, IUD there, nice and good position. And so now we're going to put on one more view, that T1 way to sequence to see what this looks like. And here's the T1 sequence. Now we can see this bright area here, the larger component that was hyperintense on T2, is mildly hyperintense on the T1 way to sequence and very uniform. And that uniform signal and the hyperintense on T1 is typical, typical for an endometrioma. And there's another fluid collection back here, another cyst. It's probably just another endometrium with different signal intensity characteristics or an ovarian cyst. And then one last final look at this, these two adjacent fluid collections. This is the one that was hyperintense on T1. Another little tiny uterine fibroid here. There's that IUD in the central uterus. And that's it. Back to the hamstring tendon tear. And uh, thank you very much.